Okay, second graders. So we are on to three digit subtraction. This is a really big deal and you guys have been doing an awesome job with it. Um, so we know our two strategies so far. We know our open number line strategy and now we're gonna use our draw and subtract strategy with three digit numbers. It's the same thing, just with three digits. So let's start off the exact same way. Let's label our whole and our part. So we have 532 minus 267. That means all together I have 532 cookies and someone's going to take 267 of them. I want to see how many I'm going to have left. Okay, so let's label our whole, our part, and we are looking for our other part, right? This is still a mystery. We have our number model here. So let's start by drawing our whole. So remember, hundreds look like a square. One, 100, 200, 300, I'm not really good at this, 400, 500. Hmm, now I need to draw my tens, right? 530, so 10, 20, 30, 2. 1, 2. This is the number 532. So, now, I want to look at my part, right? What am I taking away? I don't have to draw this part. I need to take it away from this number. So we always start with our ones. Do I have seven ones to take away? I do not. So I'm going to break this 10 into ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The important part here is that I still have 532. It's just shown a different way, right? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 510, 520, 530, one, two. Now, can I take away seven ones? I can, because I broke that 10 apart. So, one. Yeah, I'll get another color for you. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So my ones are done. Put a little check. Now I need to do my tens. I only see two tens though. Can I take away six of them? Just like I did with my tens and ones, I could do with a hundred. How many tens are in one hundred? Good. Ten tens are in one hundred. So let's erase this one hundred and replace it in the form of tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I need to draw, you can't see that, 10 tens for a hundred. I didn't change my number, I exchanged, I regrouped. So now can I take away six tens? I can, right? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Crossed out my six tens. Put a check above. Now I need to subtract my hundreds. I have two hundreds to subtract. So 100, 200. Check. Now I need to count what I have left, count what's not crossed out to find my missing part, right? I need to count to find my missing part. So do that with me. 100. 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 260, and this is four, so we have 264. Now, we're really good here in second grade, so we're gonna check our answer. I know that whole minus part equals part, but I also know that if I two, put two parts together, I would get my whole. So that's how we can check our answer. So we think our other missing part is 264. So let's add 267 plus 264. 267 plus 264. All right, seven plus four. I know that seven plus three equals 10. So seven plus four is 11. I got my doubles here. So six plus six, six, plus six is 12, plus six is 
plus one more is 13, but 13 tens. So write my three for my tens place and regroup. Two plus two is four, plus one more is five. Whoop. Hmm. 531. Is that 532? It's not. So let's see, look back and see what happened. If you look closely, even I made a mistake. I forgot to add this little one into my group, right? Oops, one, two, three, four, five. It's not a four, it's a five. So this is 265. And if this was 265, this would be 532. <laughs> Remember, boys and girls, always check your answers. Happy subtracting.